don't know if that could have been better. <laughs> it's comic news yet again. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Good. Yes, yes, please keep going. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> thank God, thank God. Um, do you have any silliness to do before we get on to the news? I I got nothing. No, nothing. Uh, I watched Doctor Who Saturday. Uh, the, well, Okay, fine. Let's just get to the news. Um, no, that was good. I enjoyed Doctor Who. Uh, the oh, I fucking record. love that episode. <laughs> okay, it's awkward pause. Um, it's our awkward pause show. Um, let's start with um, something that Manos has been waiting to hear. <laughs> ding dong, when the woman's dead. The woman's dead. The woman's dead. Ding dong, they canceled the show. Woo! <laughs> they canceled uh, before it started. Yes, <laughs> they they it. They NBC passed on it. Um, uh, a lot of people. I actually saw a few people think, "Yeah, they heard our voices," or it was just crap. We could just go with the fact that it was crap. Yeah. Well, let's not forget that he didn't want to do it. Yeah. Well, this wasn't his forte. You know, superhero stuff is not him. He's used to writing whiny female lawyers, so you know this really isn't his thing. Uh, and thank God, because he was trying to do his best to kind of shoehorn his style with superheroes, and it's it's not going to do it. It's it, He's not the guy you go to. And uh, I'm very happy. Not to mention, that just sounds really hard to do either way. Yeah. I mean, he's just not the guy. So you know what? There's a possibility there may be a Wonder Woman movie in a couple of years. I'll take that. What if she's, like, trying to work at a Home Depot or something? Will that throw you <laughs> off? Well, actually, you know, in the comic, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. she work at a, uh, a Taco Bell for a while. That did come to my mind after saying that. Uh, but, but tell me, would you honestly want the movie to start out as Diana working at Taco Bell? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. people at, at at WB, you now have your opinion. You have to do this just so everyone else can be pissed at Manos. <laughs> Piss, it's George Perez. That was his idea. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> but you know someone just heard that and it was like, oh, God. <laughs> really? That's how our epic action film's going to start? Yes. With them going, so do you want to? You want extra shots with that Gordita? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, crap. The register's broken again! That's the, that's the epic beginning. Oh, shit. I have to get the keys. <laughs> God damn it, the toilet's backed up. What's that E. coli scare? Wonder Woman to the rescue! No, 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 no. no. That's... Hey, yeah. uh, Artemis, <laughs> could you get the keys? <laughs> Tell those kids out front to quit hanging out in front of the building without buying something. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, no, it's from the comic. You know, it might that might be funny to see. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Uh, It'd be better than her, like, working as a CEO yeah. in stretch pants or whatever that yeah. is. Hold on real quick. <sighs> Sorry about that. It was just a brief interruption. Um, so our, our next story. We can <laughs> cover this man else. Yeah. But uh, this is wonderful. You know, um, uh, it's like, you know, first, you know, Bin Laden is killed, and now the Wonder Woman pilot doesn't go through. Isn't this, like, this is great. You know, I'm beginning to feel like, you know, maybe the world isn't so bad. <laughs> Yeah, like, apparently God's trying to be really nice to us before 2012 hits. He's like, I'm just going to give them some presents. Oh, 2012 has already hit, that shitty movie. God damn it. <laughs> Someone tried giving me that as a Christmas gift. Really? Here's the end yes. of humanity. Merry Christmas. I know. I'm like, um... This definitely, you know what I had to do? I'm like, oh, 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 that uh, grandma gave us the wrong gift. I switched, I tricked my cousin. Wow, this is a better Christmas gift than last year when you gave me Faces of Death. <laughs> What's that, Death Wish 5 you're giving me for Christmas? Yeah, I'm like, what? Who gives this as a Christmas gift? Next year, if you're good, I'll give you a copy of Cannibal Holocaust. That'll be really uh, Christmas charity. 
Thanks, Grandma. Uh, <laughs> I, I know why, too. Walmart has a lot of movies for $5. Oh, I also got X-Men The Last Stand, which I already owned. So that's the third one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's move on from depression to, well, depression Apathy. for the people working at the show. <laughs> Uh, the human target is canceled. I didn't even know what was going on. I, I never, I thought it was canceled a while back. And, uh. And also the lock and key shows have been passed. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, that's just. Yes, comic books and television aren't gelling too well. Not lately. Not lately. Um, at least right now. Uh, well, it's Fox, so we shouldn't be totally amazed that they were like, nah, we should just end this. Yeah. But let's give Seth McFarlane more money, but we need to end everything else. He needs all of our cash. <laughs> oh, let's see. We, maybe we could give Seth, like, a fourth show. They are. Are they? Yes. Actually, wait a moment here. I, I'm going to find find this while we're talking, but I saw something that I, I don't know what I have an opinion on. Okay. Um, But, yeah, I never watched Human Target. I tried. Yeah. But um like all television shows that are on Fox, I gave up before I even tried it. <laughs> I missed the I missed the episode and then I found other things that entertained me and just went with those. I'm like, I don't need anything else. I'm good. I got Warehouse 13. Yeah. All all is good in Duke's world. And uh Lock and Key, I I kind of want to get into the comics. I want to read them. Uh I, I I know nothing. I'm completely cold on it, so I had I, I have no I had no opinion on that show whatsoever when they said they were gonna try and make it. Yeah. I don't I I'm not familiar with it either. Uh I know it's a property called Lock and Key and that's kinda all I know about it. It and it's written by um uh Stephen King's son. Mm, mm. That I, that's all I readily know. I I, I, I I hear good things about it. I hear a lot of people praise it. Yeah. But I just haven't gotten to it. I might not. I might someday. Uh, well, who knows? I can't read the future. And so far, uh, and Human Target. You know, it's funny. He's had two TV series, short-lived TV series that were were canceled. Uh, he had one in the '90s, and that was kind of that. And the, I don't know. I, is there anybody out there that's a Human Target fan? I mean, um, keep I, I love it when I didn't even know he was a comic book fan until I saw ads on um, DC. Yeah, he's a They're like, he was a DC character. Is he? Yeah, he's a DC character. Well, I, I, I knew that when the show launched. Like, that's, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I didn't, I wasn't interested. I'm like, I never really heard of him, and it doesn't really sound like something I'd watch. Like, He needs to show up uh, in an episode of Brave and the Bold so we can uh, care about it. Oh. For all we know, they're going, they're, they're pulling out all the stops on that show, seeing if it's ending soon. Yeah. Oh, oh, and also, I found out that, uh, Seth MacFarlane thing I found out. He's rebooting the Flintstones. Are you kidding me? That is, I, that is, you know, that's something I've always thought he could do. He does a lot of uh, Flintstones jokes. So, yeah, oh, he's rebooting it. Are you serious? I would love I, that. <laughs> I, I will send you, I'm sending you the link right now, and I'll give you people all the link too. <laughs> Since I already mentioned it on the air. If you're lying to me, I will have you destroyed. <laughs> Not even killed. He's going to destroy me. I will destroy you. There it is. There it is. Uh, let's see. Let me take a look at that. Yes. Yeah, so after what? After that whole you finding the Batman issue last, last week fiasco, I find that conversations like this people enjoy a lot more. You know, because I have enjoyed his. Um, his little Flintstones bits over the years and uh, Family Guy. And I think he did a couple for his, I don't know, web cartoon show or whatever the heck that was. Oh, um, I, I actually liked that, especially yeah. the one where the, with the Scottish guy who yelled at the movies. <laughs> I didn't care for uh, a lot of those, but. Uh, oh, what are you doing? I, I love the one with uh, Fred and Barney trying to get into the club. <laughs> yeah. That just cracked me up. Uh, I don't know that one. Um, so that's, that, that was the un, most unintentional news story I've plugged. Okay. Yes. Uh, now back to I, other comic dork stuff. 
to, yes, back to us being a to, total dorks. Uh, okay, so you want to move to the next story? Because I guess we have nothing special to say about Human Target. Yes. Uh, Neither does everyone else. I uh, think we've talked more about Human Target than the Fox it, News execs at the at the office. Um, all right. Like, we pay those guys? I, I just thought they asked for money here. Uh, we have a show called Human Target? What the hell? There's no – Peter Griffin's not in that, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cancel it. We could put him in there. I mean, they put Stewie in Bones once. We did, Wait, it's not one of our reality shows, is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell is reality? We live in a fictional world. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, Neil Gaiman gets paid a lot of money to speak. Uh, I would pay him. Yeah, I would pay him. That's worth $45,000. Uh, what is this? I guess uh, it's a link about the uh, recent um, uh, disagreement he had publicly with uh, Representative Matt Dean uh, in uh, Minnesota who uh, who trashed him. Uh, publicly because he uh, he uh, he was paid uh, forty five thousand to speak at uh, one of the libraries uh, there in the Twin Cities, which of course, as usual, a uh, Republican who is uh, desperately trying to get attention for the teabagger anti government uh, thing, he completely mm-hmm. forgot to mention that that forty five thousand went to charity, and yeah, that had already <laughs> happened too. By the way, it's it's not I, like. You know, he criticized him, and then he sent. No, he did it like a while back. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Technically, this story is like a week or two old. It's but kind I, of old, but, yeah. Oh, uh, I actually thought we were going to talk about it last week, but uh, I for, I forgot. I I let sh- I let shit slip. My bad. Yeah. So we called him a pencil necked little weasel, and uh, who stole forty five thousand from the state? By the way, no one knows anything about stealing more than a uh, uh, a, a politician. Oh. Um, Gaiman responded, uh, you know, pretty tongue in cheek. Uh, I'm just happy, you know. I'm, that guy's just lucky that, you know. Oh, by the way, he he like came back and apologized because his mom said it was insulting. But you know what? Fuck that guy. Fuck you, Matt Dean. Yeah, you Matt lucky, Dean. You were screw lucky you, Matt Dean. you didn't insult me. <laughs> yeah, screw you, Matt Dean, who sounds like an actor from the '80s. Yeah, except not oh. as talented as a bullshit artist. You worthless sack of goat shit. There, I said it. So let's let's look at our list of accomplishments. I have made Manos happy about the Flintstones, and we bullshit a guy I barely know. Wow, we're doing good this week. <laughs> Man, I need to. Right. I'm giving myself a gold star if we keep going on this this uh, little happy go lucky trail. By the way, he he can he um uh, in this little article. He says that uh, he actually charges around the same price Snooky from Jersey Shore charges, uh, which that is, is the weirdest comparison ever. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, I guess he found. Let's see, who's the most worthless person? What's their? What are they charging? Oh, hey, Snooky's charging just as much as me. Uh, but okay, George Bush also charges like uh, obscene amounts of money to speak, and. Uh, Oh, because we want to pay that much money to hear about that guy cattle ranch and yeah, it's like yeah. Tell us about your eight years throwing brush. <laughs> what do you think about Will Ferrell? I think he's a, I think he's kind of funny. What do you think? <laughs> that wasn't Will Ferrell, honey. That was that was the real guy. No, it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh. seen Will Ferrell. That was him. Wouldn't it be hilarious? That <laughs> would be very hilarious. This isn't Will Ferrell. <laughs> I was oh. tricked. I've been tricked. Um, uh, oh, wait. He's actually funnier. <laughs> but sadder. <laughs> A lot sadder. Um, <laughs> oh, my grandchildren are dead because of this guy. <laughs> is, is he going to quote stuff from Anchorman? Wrong guy. And yes, he will anyway. Yes. Because he's bored. Um, so you want to move to the next story? Yeah, I think we're kind of done with this. Oh. Uh, we're, we're, we're not done with the jokes, but we're done with the actual story. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, Kevin Smith, the Bionic Man comic, now officially from Dynamite. From Woo. the same team that brought you the Green Hornet book. He's actually, uh, he's got Phil Hester and Jonathan Lau doing the art on that. 
which is amazing. I, I, I still need to pick those up and trade, but I probably will after I get all my graduation money. I love that uh, run, especially the first eight issues, but it's been good since Kevin Smith left as well. And let's see. Uh, I guess the, my first question is, is someone else taking over uh, Green Hornet uh, af- while they're doing this? Um, I... I don't know. I don't follow Dynamite too much. I I honestly found this. I'm like, well, this is news. Put it in the list. I didn't. Re- I didn't even read this. I'm sorry. Mm, that's okay. I didn't read it either. <laughs> oh, uh, hooray! We're both lazy pricks. You're welcome, audience. <laughs> lazy pricks with Duke and Manos. <laughs> well, to be fair, I, I I'm going to use that quote you used during the Geek Pollution you stream. <laughs> chat where they're like comic news the only place where you can talk where you can cuss about comic books that's right this is the only place yes uh they're, they're, uh, you know what i want someone to make claims about about how other other shows do this uh, oh and also i forgot to mention this at the beginning but we're gonna read off that um the weird comic music oh yeah 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 i for, almost forgot about that yes I, I i i i i had a reminder here somewhere but yeah we will we will read those out at the end of the show uh, yeah. uh all right now this is i guess this is going to be uh the steve austin character and uh he by the way uh the six million dollar man i don't know if you've seen the show since you're not you didn't exist in the 70s but, um, it's always show, cause, um, in town we have this channel that shows a bunch of old TV shows like Incredible Hulk, Ooh. this, the original Battlestar Galactica. Awesome. Um, yes, it is. I love those shows. And, uh, uh, these were actually based on a novel called Cyborg. I think I've heard that randomly somewhere. And, uh, so I'm curious to see if we'll see Steve Austin in this. I, um, be neat if we could see, uh, uh, what's her name? Jamie, Sum- maybe Jamie Summers, the... Bionic Woman. Uh, uh, a brief, a brief kind of uh, tangent here. I'm just looking at one of these covers. Uh, it's the one where it's just him running at you, and it's all red. Yeah. It, the the guy running at you, it looks like David Boreanaz, kind of. <laughs> I mean, that may just be me, but for a brief moment, I'm like, what the hell is? Oh David yeah, that Boreanaz? one. He does look like David Boreanaz. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was alone on this one. I'm like, huh. wow, he looks a lot like David Boreanaz. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I can fully enjoy a comic book version of this. I mean, because uh, a lot of the charm went to watching him run in slow motion with that sound. I'm going to have to, like, make it when I read it. <laughs> Dynamite, I have an idea. Take those chips they put in Hallmark cards that make sound effects. Oh, yes. They should do that, <laughs> on, the first, they should do that on the last issue. That's probably very expensive. <laughs> I will, please, if someone's listening, which by the way, I doubt, <laughs> please do it. Please. That, 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 that'd be the best gimmick ever. I would buy that issue. I would buy, <laughs> if that was like the, you know, the, the, the secondary issue, like, you know, I'd get that. I'd buy that. Okay, hold on. No, but seriously, that, that, that sounds like a brilliant idea. They probably won't do it because I'm sure that costs a lot of money and that means the issue would cost more. Mm-hmm. We have to pay ten bucks just to get that. Yeah, it'd be as expensive as a Marvel comic. No, no, still cheaper, still cheaper. <laughs> All right, hey, you ready for the next exciting story on comic news? Yeah, I think I am, Manos. I've okay. been doing this for over a year. Greg if Pax, I'm not excited now, Greg Pax, Incredible Hulk's to end in August. Uh, the Incredible Hulk's ends with issue six thirty-five in August, ending. Uh, Greg Pak's run on the book, and the character that has lasted uh, five years, uh, granted a sense of solidarity. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so they're not only ending uh, Pak's run, but they're ending the book, which I guess they they uh, renumbered this a while back, because this is the original um, Hulk run, right? Yeah, well, 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 well. Let me kind of explain for anyone else who's lost, because this is still running as of right now is along with the Hulk book that Loeb was on. Yeah. But Jeff Parker's on that. Uh, what they did was they did it weird where they did the 600 issue and then they just let Hulk continue with this too. Mm. And the other weird thing is this series has been going bi-weekly for about a year now. Yeah. So, uh... You know, I... So, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not shocked. Um, uh, 
what stops Marvel from, Marvel from just putting random numbers on their books? Um, Check out the next issue of uh, Hulk, uh, issue 12, and then a the, uh, month after that, issue 235. <laughs> then we're going to go back. Then the next, was, week after, next, next month after that, it'll be issue 27. It was honestly like that. And the thing is, when they did that, and they never clearly said that Hulk was going to keep going. We all just thought it was going to be the crappy, oh, it'll keep going on that numbering. No, we'll keep Hulk at the same numbering and then give Greg Pack a shot to do this again and make it cool yeah. to fuck with you. You know, I'm, you know, I am now going to not pay attention to the numbers on Marvel books anymore. Good, because I don't think they have. It's absolutely become a joke. Yeah. Um, I'll just, like, pick it up and go, I hope, well, this is continuing the last thing I read. Oh, yeah, okay, good, all right. Not to not to mention just on, like, they say, Greg, Greg Pax run, let's see, he did this, and then World War Hulk, and then they did that Scar, Son of Hulk book, which he only was on for, like, 12 issues. Yeah. And then he went back to Hulk, and... He was kind of doing his own thing. Then they did the weird fall of the Hulks and World War Hulks. And <laughs> and, and, and the w- really weird thing, what, one, okay, uh, again, sorry for the interruptions. I am not having a good day today. So let's move on from Manos' confusion to horrible, horrible people. <laughs> Who's also, I guess you could make a case, is very confused. <laughs> uh, okay, that was a good one. <laughs> he's slightly more confused than I am. Let's just say that. Uh, Not to mention, the man goes by a name that's sillier than his other name when you pronounce it. Yes. Uh, let's see, Riviera. Let's see, uh, Jose Riviera, aka artist Justin Daniel, Justin Daniel, Justinio or something. Justinio. Yeah, you know, if I was a douchey cool guy in the '80s, that's what I'd call myself. <laughs> You were around in the 80s. Yeah, it's... But uh, I've been a douchey cool guy if you well, wanted to. Well, I wasn't to. a douchey cool guy back then, and, and it didn't occur to me uh, to be one of those. But I could go, hey, call me Justin Yu. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, you're a cool guy now. Not a douchey guy, don't worry, just a cool guy. Well, no, 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 a douchey cool guy is a little bit different. A douchey cool guy is one of those annoying not cool guys who thinks they're awesome. In... Uh, is always, you know... Damn, I might be one of them. Yeah, they're the kind of guys who are wearing the... Um, uh, those, uh, let's see, what are those kind of jackets that uh, aren't cool anymore? Um, um, members-only jackets? Members-only jackets, yeah. That's a members-only jacket kind of guy. Okay, okay. Yeah, the kind that... And, and today, they still wear them, but now they're doing it, quote-unquote, uh, ironically. It's like, no, you're just an <laughs> asshole. Uh, should we explain what he actually did? Oh yeah, I guess we should get into that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's change the tone here because he's been arrested for child pornography. Yeah, um, we are really silly on this show, and this is a serious matter. However, I'm going to quote Manos when I asked if we should cover this. Yeah. Let me find it here. Let me find. Comic book artist busted for child porn. Sure. He, Don't get me wrong. The, the charges are absolutely serious, and this is sickening. It is, I'm, yeah, it's disgusting. It, 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 it's just I. I think it, it's his name makes it. Fun. I don't know why we're why we're exactly laughing at this. It's it's not funny really because his name isn't that funny. Let's let's calm down. Oh no, no no! When you and me comment on it, it's hilarious. Well, uh, we can make just anything steep. funny. But uh, yeah, this is terrible. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. He uh, let's. let's see. He can keep going. Yeah, he was arrested. Uh, we had uh, 33 files classified as child pornography, a number which grew to over 100. Uh, yeah, that's quite, quite bad, actually. And uh, this is uh, this is rather sad. It's kind of disturbing. Um, I'm not too familiar with his work, although I do recognize um, the uh, work he did for Countdown to Mystery. And uh, this is... Well, I don't know. This is really sad. I mean, this lowers, uh, you know, comic book artists to, you know, the level of a priest or something like that. I, I It's not something I, I like to see in my world here. But, 
Oh well, he's uh he's been taken care of, I guess. Yeah, uh I I I don't have anything else to comment. It's just a bad thing and it's kind of Did you mute sad this that... so your sister doesn't hear this? <laughs> no, I muted I muted myself so you couldn't hear me talk to her. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was partially listening to you, so I got bits of that, I'm sure. Uh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. This is really – yeah, this is really bad, and he's a bad guy. Yeah. Um, let's, let's, let's move to something more uplifting, like dinosaurs and aliens. Shall we? Uh, let's. Cutting okay. <laughs> Am I cutting out badly? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty bad. But uh, – oh, yeah, uh, don't really have anything else to say except, uh, yeah, he got arrested. Yeah, he seems like a bad guy and uh, good. Yes, I mean, he wasn't really anything. I, I, I don't think I've read anything he's done, so okay, whatever. By the way, I'm sorry out there for anybody who has been a fan of Justin Eo. Um, and uh, I hope you can just enjoy his work from the past without thinking about, uh, you know, Yes, uh, let's, let's let's move to more to more hilarity now, or go something cool. Okay. Grant Morrison is going to be writing Dominion Dinosaurs versus Aliens. Yay! Um, it's it's being developed simultaneously as a graphic novel and a movie uh, through Liquid Comics. <laughs> that premise just sounds awesome. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. And this picture is freaking awesome. I want it on a giant poster and framed. <laughs> what it now? I'm guessing this is going to be talking dinosaurs beating up aliens. Who? I, Grant Morrison could make that freaking awesome, can't he? Yeah, I guess so. Well, he mentions uh, Land Before Time, so I imagine it's going to be like that. Uh, there was this crappy CG cartoon a few years back called Dinosaur or something like that. Yeah. Um, which basically was CG talking dinosaurs. And running away from things. Running away from yeah, that's not as interesting as uh, fighting aliens. So yes, the the giant flying saucer is the selling point. It, it, will this be the most mainstream thing he's done publicly? I, I don't think he's done any films. Um, I I think so. I don't know because the uh, the mainstream uh, audiences have gotten to look at Alan Moore and Frank Miller, and they are just starting to get to know Neil Gaiman. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know if they've met Grant Morrison. Uh, how cool Better question is, will they want to meet Grant Morrison? <laughs> They'll be fine. Hey, how cool would a Doctor Who episode be written by Grant Morrison? He actually wrote some Doctor Who comics back in the day. That's Well, that would be great. I'd love well, so He needs to do an episode. Do it. I, I'm in for that. Make it happen. Make it happen! Make it so. Make it so, BBC. Make it so, number two. And also, stop playing Superman 2. <laughs> it's not British. I don't care if there's a British dude in it. That doesn't make it okay. Stop <laughs> it. Uh, that annoys the crap out of me. I do no end. For those of you who may not understand, BBC America has been replaying that movie a lot. Yeah, and a I, lot. I, I just don't. One British person is it doesn't give you an okay. Yeah. Not to mention it was really funny because they started doing this after that whole citizenship thing came up. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's kind of it's really hilarious. Um, so our our final story. All right, DC uh, to publish it, one comic at the end of August. Do like I, do we need dramatic music? Um, uh, yes, they're only publishing Flashpoint number five. Wow, they have a serious hard on. This because story. no wait, I'm reading the quote here because it impacts the DC universe. Oh yeah, I've never heard that before. Um, uh, that line you, it's kind of hard to trust as far as you can throw. Granted, <laughs> that's but, an uh, incredibly hard line to trust. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, I know. I'm trying to be sarcastic. Um, <laughs> I I I love the first issue. Uh, many people are not shocked at all. Um, I I don't really care. <laughs> It's, I don't read in, I don't buy issues. Like, I read issues in some things, and most of it's, hey, at least one week, you people don't have to bitch and moan about how, oh my god, look at all of these Flashpoint books. They're going to go, oh my god, look at the one Flashpoint book. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank DC Comics for saving me a lot of money that last week of uh, August. <laughs> See, it's helping you. Yeah, I can, you know, have a little extra money for lunch. Uh, or maybe 
buy some Marvel comics. Yes, it's it's just DC, so it's been stopping you. I think. I think so too, Jamie. Uh, we don't have anything else to add on this. Yeah. Uh, so. I would totally, if I was Marvel, take advantage of this. They probably will. They always will. They should. Uh, well, I don't, usually, usually, I think around this time at the end of the month, they put like a billion books out anyway. Around the end of the summer, like the last week of every month, they put like twenty books out. Yeah, I, I think they should like that week put all their books out with Deadpool on the cover, dressed like DC characters. <laughs> <laughs> that won't get them sued. <laughs> it's parody. It's parody. Good point. Good point. Uh, so uh, give me a minute and we'll read out the list. Uh, so uh, and we're back and you people have a lot of creativity on your hands. Um, Manos, I want you to pick out like one that just pops out to you instantly. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about... Uh, C.C. Scorsese videos. He made a few uh, Alan Moore and Cannibal Corpse. They're angry about everything. Or Alan Moore and Ozzy Osbourne. Or or Jeff Loeb and Ludacris. Uh, or Charlie. <laughs> uh, Charlie Sheen doesn't Charlie. count. He's not a rock star. Uh, or, <laughs> he thinks he is. That's the sad part. Yeah. Uh, he thinks he's a comedian. Uh, he, he thinks he's a human being. Yeah, he thinks he's got a job. That is, how fucking hilarious is that? They replaced him with Ashton Kutcher. I know. I can't believe I would ever happy, I would, I, I'm, I'm, I can't believe I would be happy to see Ashton Kutcher. Get a job. Like, ha ha, they replaced you with him. The only thing that would made that better is if they had replaced him with Paulie Shore. <laughs> My mom would watch that show there. She loves Polly Shore. Uh, anyway, next um, uh, suggestion is also CC uh, um, wanted to say Brian K. Vaughn and Lady Gaga to make King sick. Yeah, he hates Brian K. Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> and now he hates you. <laughs> you know you're so sensitive. Dude. I know, I'm, ki- I'm kidding. Half the time it's for jokes. Other time, who knows? Uh, All right. Okay, let's let's. Oh, here's one that I approve of. One moment here. All right. Garth Ennis, Justin Bieber. She just is like, what? Uh, Joe Quesada and Ice Cube rapping about eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> uh, I'll also say this is from. Uh, let's see, Kaleidos- Kaleidoscopium. Um. <laughs> I'll also say Stan Lee and Katy Perry. <laughs> um, he got shot by the Punisher. For uh, two yeah, reasons, none of us uh, find that he's... Yes, now you go. Your purpose has been fulfilled. No, no, I can't die. He's in, he's in the other room. Go find him. Did you invite her in here? I, 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 I wanted a delayed reaction because I knew we were going to have to mention his name and she was going to break through the door and he went to Kool-Aid Man. So I had to just let her in. Okay. I'm sorry. I just, I thought it was worth it. Not to mention, she gave a really awesome delayed reaction. Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Garth Ennis and the Wiggles. Uh, from Movie Geek 17. Uh, he also likes Brew Baker and uh, uh, Rise Against the Machine. Uh, and JMS and Bob Dylan. Uh, I, I want to come up with a funny pun using times or a change in, but I can't think of it. <laughs> no, that's good enough. That works. Uh, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, John, Brian Michael Bendis and Johnny Cash. From, uh, Thank you, to Tori GNR1. Tori GNR1, uh, yeah. Let's see. Here. Uh, Mark Millar and ACDC, because you can't understand either. Yeah. You know, uh, Alan Moore was quite pop- popular here. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, he got pair- <laughs> with, with Rebecca Black. <laughs> yeah. How hilarious yeah, then- would that be? Oh, that'd be amazing. Actually, the, I love his follow-up comment, which he's like, wait, wait, I take that back. Jeff Johns and Rebecca Black, because Jeff Johns can make anything that is lame awesome, especially Smallville. No, no, no. Th- think about uh, think about Alan Moore. Think think about this for a second. Friday, Friday, <laughs> Friday, Friday. I don't know the lyrics. Friday. Um, that's, that's honestly the beginning of the song. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm dancing I, with my girlfriends on Friday. Partying, partying. Oh my God, all oh the partying. Uh, actually, I'm shocked no one said this. CC Top and Alan Moore. I'm ashamed. No one thought of that. 
Mm. Uh, actually, you know what? I take the comment back. Uh, Rebecca Black and Alan Moore. That would work out great. His beard would eat her. <laughs> no, no, no. He would, like, come out and everybody would go, hey, where's Rebecca Black? And she'd, like, pop out of his beard. <laughs> Look at that cartoon. <laughs> and I'm here. Like one of the aliens. It's like, oh, shit! <laughs> uh, oh, it's uh, Garf Ennis and Justin Bieber. Enough said. Yep. I just wanted to say that again because she was near the room. You are not well, allowed to mention him again. I I know. I've cu- I, I've made my limit. Uh, let's see. Any any? I thought there were more on here. Uh, oh, Jeff Loeb and Metallica. Yep. Neither have anything good. Have done anything good in quite a while. Frank Miller and old. Eminem, Eminem for craziness uh, from Power uh, Kame, uh 25. Uh, to Mercy also said Frank Miller and 50 Cent. Uh, they can rap about falling in love with prostitutes. <laughs> He's not here. Get out. Oh, fix it later. <laughs> I, I regret opening Pandora's box. Yeah. Which, which, by the way, uh, Captain Logan commented on last week. By the way, uh, Captain Logan also suggested Josh Whedon and They Might Be Giants. I think you would love that more than anyone. <laughs> that would be great, yeah. Uh, I, I agree, too. Uh, and uh, actually, you know, Brian K. Vaughn and Lady Gaga, I don't know. What about uh, Grant Morrison and Lady Gaga? I mean, he, that would probably work. Yeah, I mean, he, he's worn crazier outfits. Yes. That's a, or he could just wear that um, suit he wears at every convention because he just goes in in a bright white suit. Like he's in the movie Equilibrium. He's going to shoot everyone. <laughs> he looks like it. Oh, I mean, I could see them both like brought onto stage in giant eggs. <laughs> yes, and, and then the worst part is we had to figure out which one's weirder in this situation. I think uh, maybe the eggs could be like egg shapes, but they have their faces like on on the the front. Like we have them in giant customary Easter eggs. Yes. And <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and they both pop out. <laughs> no, you and me are full of awesome ideas, <laughs> aren't we? We. Oh. We have we have the Hallmark card by <laughs> and comics. And and we have that. Um, also, sure. I, I, I love the guy who commented about Stan Lee and Katy Perry, and he said, for two reasons, neither of them is necessarily because he's the father of Marvel. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, so those were your comments. Thank you. You made me laugh, and on two of them, you made me question reality. You 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 entertained us. We are amused. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's my that's my new thing to do to people when they talk to me and they say something funny. I just play that clip from Futurama where Bender takes off the crown. Mm-hmm. We are not amused, um, but you did amuse us, and thank you. We will. I'm gonna. We should try doing more of these. Oh well, yeah. These uh, we didn't have any good kind of topic ideas this time around, but uh, um, what we'll- do you want Dynamite to do for an over the top gimmick? <laughs> For their comics, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll think of one and try and keep this going because this was a fun yeah. idea. Um, so thank you. Uh, I got nothing. Uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, where you'll get updates on this show. Like, for example, um, the update that I was supposed to put of me saying no comic news recording Sunday. Uh, two people. You there's now two people who follow me on that. Who's like, which are you recording it? Nope. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Follow me, the real Manos or Duke, uh, uh, on our Twitter. We're funny. Uh, and that's a, oh, buy the Red Knight, damn it. Yes. <laughs> buy it now, please. Even though it's not out yet, buy it now. <laughs> the the Red Knight comic will be available. Uh, check out the Facebook page. Yes, uh, which I will try and make sure it gets a link in here too. So until next time, I'm Duke, and I'm the real Manos. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know. (laughs) Bye.